Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the uploads. In today's video, I want to talk about Mariah Carey. I mean, it's officially Christmas, so why not talk about Mariah? Mariah did a new interview with Naomi Campbell on her podcast and YouTube series, No Filter. And first of all, I think Mariah is, anytime she's with, with someone she knows really well or comfortable, that's where you're going to get the best Mariah. They talked about a variety of things, including their friendship, including being a mother and her new book, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, which I've talked about multiple times. But I did a recent TikTok video. Yes, if you're not following me on TikTok, go there, you're missing out. I'm doing quick minutes of hot topics for you. Well, I talked about a part of Mariah Carey's book, but also part of the interview with Naomi, where she talked about Sandra Bernhardt and how Sandra Bernhardt had called her the N-word back in the day during one of her stand-up specials. And really, there was no sort of backlash. No one said anything. No one came to Mariah's aid at the time. But anyway, take a look at the video that I posted, and we'll talk more about it. And news that I can't believe I didn't know this story. Mariah Carey was recently on Naomi Campbell's YouTube podcast series, No Filter, and she revealed that she still can't believe that Sandra, Sandra Bernhard got away with calling her the N-word. So apparently during one of Sandra's stand-up comedy uh, specials, uh, I'm still here, damn it. She said, quote unquote, she's trying to backtrack on our asses by acting real niggerish there at the Royalton Hotel Suite with Puff Daddy and all the greasy chain-wearing black men. Also in that special, she referred to Mary J. Blige, Missy Elliott, and Lil' Kim as ghetto divas. So this is what she said in regards to her using the N-word. She says, I have carte blanche using the word from Paul, my friend Paul Mooney. I'm a car-carrying white black girl. Plus, I have a huge black following, so you know it's like a black person saying nigger. Do your all white people no black person can give you permission Wait, to- I don't remember this specific instance or video. But I do recall there being some sort of issue between Sandra Bernhard and Mariah Carey. I don't recall this specific story. If I did, I think I probably would have had a very different uh, view of Sandra Bernhard, who was just recently on Pose, a very uh, Black, you know, people of color series. So it was, it, was, it was disheartening to hear this story and then her saying that Paul Mooney gave her permission. And one of the things I said at the end of that video, no black person or anyone can give you permission to use the N word, just saying. Um, and it's not a word that I like to use in that video. I used it for context, but it's not, it's not a video. It's not a word I like to use or even use in my general conversations, but it's definitely not a word that Sandra Bernhardt should be using. But it is interesting that Mariah talked about it. And I, and I saw a lot of different comments about it and people saying, you know, why, you know, why is she bringing it up now? Why are we talking about it now? Um, I think it's worth talking about, especially right now, especially in 2020, where we, we've really been seeing a, a reckoning in regards to things that people did not take seriously when they should have back in the day, especially when it comes to Black people. Because uh, Mariah is a Black woman. She owns that. And calling her the N-word is not appropriate ever. Um, and I'm glad you did, I'm glad Naomi brought it up and I'm glad they talked about it a little bit, but I don't I don't think they really got to the, 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 the hardcore of that. You know, should we cancel Sandra Bernhardt? That's canceling anyone, cancel culture. Is that really a thing? You know, I mean, some people are affected by it. Some people are not, depending on, you know, who you are. Um, but everyone makes a personal choice on if they're going to support this person. There, there's no way I can support a Sandra Bernhardt, whatever she may be doing right now. And I hope that Ryan Murphy really reconsiders bringing her back on Pose because her reasoning, justifying using it, made it worse for me. And I'm not sure if she's apologized since then. Maybe she has, especially with the way 2020 has been. But even then, I'm just like, mm, I don't know if I can watch her. Or, or support anything that she's working on. Me personally, you can do whatever you want. But I wanted to bring the story here today, first of all, because I loved the interview with Naomi. I love seeing Mariah when she's comfortable with someone. Because you know, sometimes 
if you're a celebrity and you're interviewing with just a, a bunch of different people that you don't you don't even know, you're not going to give as much. You're not going to be as comfortable. And I really enjoyed her interview with Naomi because she seemed really comfortable. You could tell they have a genuine friendship. You can tell that there's genuine history there. And just two iconic women in different fields it was really incredible to watch that conversation as I was preparing for uh, Thanksgiving. That's it. If you haven't seen it, I'll post the link in the description box so you can watch that interview. It's Christmas time. I want to hear what you guys are doing, what your thoughts are on this whole Sandra Bernhard story that you may or may have not known about. Let's talk about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the uploads. I'll see you tomorrow.